There's a couple of things to keep in mind. One, not, you don't want everyone on your list. You want, this, is the way, this is just the way I look at it. Maybe there's other guys in the summit who disagree, but they're wrong. Okay, so it's all good. It's not against the law for them to be wrong. It's all good. I'll, I'll give you a biblical example. I'm not going to preach, but this is, like, this is straight out of the book of Revelation. And I use this all the time as an example because it's perfect for email. Book of Revelation, there's this chapter 3, I think it is, and Jesus is talking to this church saying, you did all this good stuff, but you're lukewarm. And because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out. I'd rather you be hot or cold, not lukewarm. That's how you want your list. You want them hot or cold. And by emailing them every day correctly, you will make them either day, but they want to buy, and you just keep it every day. You're going to sell them. Or you turn them off completely. They're just not that interested in it. And they'll leave, and they'll leave peacefully. They'll just unsubscribe. Most of them are not going to be trollish about it. It's the lukewarm people that get become trolls, and they're nasty to you, and they leave us stupid. So you want to make them hot or cold. Make, you know, just mail every day and be interesting. And that's the other thing. As long as you're interesting, if you're, there's this guy named Jim Camp. He died earlier last year, actually. Sad. He was the world's most feared negotiator. And he had this saying that I've never forgotten. And I mean, I like taped to my wall because I never want to forget it. You're always safe. And then he's talking about negotiation, but it's the same as selling. Okay, it's the exact same. You're always safe when you're in the other person's world. If you're in their world talking about their problems and, and things that are interesting to them, you're not going to bore them. They will look forward to it. Uh, the great Matt Fury, who I mentioned earlier, he was big on treating email like talk radio. So you become, in effect, a talk radio show host. And you're going to have fans. You're going to have people who love what you're talking about. You're always going to sell. It's just like talk radio. I don't, I, know, I don't know if there's talk radio and there's a segment where they talk about politics or whatever, and then it goes to commercial. Like, and it's the most direct response friendly medium in the world. Billions of dollars of sales are done on talk radio because it's so direct response friendly. So take that to email. You're going to give them a two, three, four hundred, however long it is, word segment talking about a problem or a, 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 a whatever, an insecurity or a desire or just the news or whatever that's something relevant to them. And then you're going to ask for a sale. You're going to tie it into what you're selling. And that's the thing. You want to, I don't think people should worry about people opting out. I think it's a good thing because if you're worried about opt-outs over getting sales, then that means you're playing to not lose instead of playing to win. You want to play because the more you're your autoresponder, the bigger your list gets. My so get them off if they're not going to buy. You do them no good and you do yourself no good keeping them around. So make them hot or cold. And you do that just by showing up every day and being you, using your personality, tying in whatever it is you're talking about to what you sell, and then moving out the rest of your day.